We're following the latest on three confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Ohio. As the illness spreads across the country and around the world, WCPO 9 News is working to find out what you should really do if you think you may be infected. Kristen Swilley joins us live right now from the newsroom with what your options are if you want to be tested. Kristen? Yeah, well, Craig, there are currently no confirmed cases in Cincinnati, but many of you have reached out worried you or someone you know may have the coronavirus. So we spoke with the health department and it turns out you have a few options. You want to get tested, um, but you also don't want to show up in a waiting room and infect a lot of people. Dr. Grant Musman knows there's plenty of bad news to go around, but when it comes to confirming cases or putting minds at ease, there's progress. The state of Ohio Health Department does have a test kit that's available for testing cases of suspected coronavirus. The state has a limited number of kits and currently tests no more than 400 of the sickest people. For everyone else, there are a few options. They can either call their, their primary care physician and talk it over. There's also a state uh, hotline for folks who are concerned about having the coronavirus. The same goes for Indiana and Kentucky. If you are feeling ill, uh, call your provider. That provider can order a test through a private lab. If you don't have a primary care physician, going to urgent care or another clinic may not be your best option. I think a good place to start is the, is the hotline. And then if you sound like somebody who needs to be prioritized for a test, then the state uh, will help coordinate with the local health department and local providers to, to find a way to, to get tested. Now, if you have any questions or think you may have COVID-19 symptoms, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana have call centers you can reach out to to get answers. The numbers for each state's hotline is listed there on your screen. And we also have the numbers listed on our website. That's WCPO.com. For anyone that shows symptoms of the coronavirus, the CDC does recommend self isolation. Kristen Swilly, WCPO 9 News. All right, Kristen, thank you. New at 11, Ohio State University is calling off all face to face instruction for its students effective immediately. School leaders say all in person lectures, seminars and other classroom learning will move to virtual classes instead until March 30th at the earliest. They also say students have the choice of returning to their permanent addresses or staying on campus. Lakota school students are getting an unexpected day at home this coming Friday. You see, school leaders say the goal is to develop a plan in case the district has to close for an extended amount of time due to the coronavirus. The superintendent made the announcement today comparing Friday to drills that help students and staff prepare for potential fires, tornadoes and other lockdowns. But students are not getting the day off. They're still going to be assigned some type of at home learning. Now we wanted to take a moment tonight to discuss our ongoing coverage of the coronavirus here at WCPO 9. Our goal here is it's not to alarm you, it's to better prepare you, to equip you with information that you need and you need for your family. And as we cover the virus, we will try to keep things in context and focus on helping you make the right decisions.